The Medium is a narrative horror game where you play as Marianne, the titular Medium. She exists both in reality and in the spirit world, and we control her in both planes, sometimes interchangeably but often simultaneously. This inventive game design adds some freshness to the classic horror tropes throughout, but it can't save the story which peaks and troughs in all the wrong ways. Fittingly for a new gen game set in 1999, the medium is a fantastic blend of the old and the new. Taking its cues from the PS1 horror classic Silent Hill and Resident Evil, the game uses fixed camera angles to maintain dread throughout, ensuring you're never quite sure of exactly where you are or where to go. This can be frustrating at times, but it fits with the themes of Marianne's exploration. Players spend half the game as Marianne and half as her spirit twin. Both characters move through the same basic map, though sometimes you'll have to perform an action in one world to open up a path in the other. This simultaneous exploration of both worlds is exactly the type of innovation the horror genre needs, especially with the rigid, fixed camera angles. It may seem gimmicky, but Marianne's power grows as the players learn to understand its intricities. Whether this exact concept works for you or not, we should be celebrating the new generation introducing games prepared to think differently. If it's to the medium as credit that it thinks differently, then it's to its detriment that it overthinks everything. Horror is at its best when it's simple. Jaws works because we know how a shark is scary and why a shark is scary. Most of the work is done for us. The medium tries to be too clever at times and things which are supposed to be chilling just end up confusing you. It's a slow burn, but it often feels so slow it feels like the candle's been blown out. What's most frustrating is how well it strikes the balance in the opening exchanges, beginning with Marianne searching for her stepfather's tie to prepare him for his funeral. It's low stakes, but the dark, shadowy morgue brings an eerie atmosphere that captures the tone of the game immediately before Spirit Marianne sends him off to the afterlife. Things take a turn when Marianne receives a bizarre phone call which takes her to a hotel where the bulk of the game is set. Once we arrive, she's constantly jumping from one objective to another. Find a way upstairs, open this door, find a rusty razor blade in the spirit world to cut down the creepy skin barriers. The central mystery is where the call came from, but it feels so distant and impersonal. A lot of that is down to the game's smaller design choices. Because we're giving nothing to go on, most of the storytelling comes through interacting with small objects and collectibles in each room. These stories aren't as rich as similar titles though, so even if you find them all, it's never quite enough. I respect the game for not wanting to hold my hand, but I wish it didn't jilt me at the altar. Because of this, the game struggles with resolution. The game's ultimate ending is unexpected, brave and just about earned, but the mini endings throughout don't feel as satisfying. Creatures are often vanquished through borderline scripted sequences and cutscenes too. Marianne never feels too involved in the whole affair. Thankfully, Marianne is a great character with a quirky sense of humour and the single worst dad one I've ever seen. She's easy to root for but too often she feels like a passenger. Even with two versions of her, the game wants to tell a story from another angle again, all too aware that Marianne alone is not enough to tell a tale which never needed to be so complicated in the first place. The medium starts well and ends well, and the fixed camera angles and single player split screen pay off with undeniable creepiness. Unfortunately, the basics let it down. The story meanders too often in the middle, relies too much on collectibles that lack narrative impact, and puts too much trust in cutscenes and not enough in the players. It's innovative, but it's not quite groundbreaking.